Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Massachusetts now is right down the street from me, but so far away during the pandemic. Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, you'd probably be down here visiting me at this point. I, absolutely. You know why not? But anyway, that's Stephen Kravitz, and he's a com- hey. he's a comic, yeah. out of out of work comic, but so are, so is every other comic in America. Right, 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 right. By the way, yeah. By the way, I was watching. Have you watched this thing on Showtime on the Comedy Store? No. Yeah. His, did you ever work with the Comedy Store? Yes, uh, I was a regular, paid regular. Nineteen eighty-five, I became a paid regular. Oh wow! Okay. So names you, up on the names up on the building. Really, you you then should watch this documentary because it's all about it's go it's in its third week now. I don't know how many weeks it's going to go. Yeah, I know Mike Binder who did, who did it, mm-hmm. but I know I'm not in it, so I'm not going to watch it. Uh, so you're not going to watch it. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. Them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hell the well. older I get, the more vain I become, I tell you that. Well, you know, uh, they say, oh, and there's a documentary on the blah, 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 and I go, am I in it? No. Well, then why should I watch it? That's right. Exactly. 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 All, I, all I'm going to do is harbor a resentment if I watch it. There's a documentary about the concentration camps. Am I in it? No. Well, then the hell with it. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Thank God you're not in it. I had a friend who was in concentration in concentration camps. He was in what? Eleven concentration camps. You know, he made the, he made the whole tour of the concentration right, camps. Right, right, right. Like I used to tour Canada. He did. He toured the concentration camps. And, and the most the thing I, I said to him, I said, you know, I'm very impressed. He, was, he came to America and he became a very famous uh, Broadway director, and he directed a couple of movies, and uh, he uh, was a, a drama teacher. I mean, worked at the Actors Studio. Was part of the Actors Studio. It was oh, one, really? One of the people who ran the actor's studio. He wow. started the actor's studio on the West Coast. The name Jack Garfine. And uh, he was in the concentration camps. And I said, you know, you've done all this stuff in your life. And the only thing that I'm impressed by is that you met Mangala. <laughs> not, not the guy you really want to meet. Well, uh, Mangala actually saved his life. Why is that? He, he performed experiments on him? No, no. He he was he, he he was seeing all these kids who were coming up to him, and right. and uh, he kind of lied about his age and said he was a year older than he was because if he was a year younger, they'd send him off to the gas chamber. Really? And so he told him that he was you know he was fifteen, and uh, Mengele said, "Oh, such a sweet boy," and pinched his cheeks. And said, "Okay, go that way." And he sent him to a work detail. Right. And as he's going to the work detail, he says to the capo, the Jew who was running the, the, sure, sure. the group. He said, "I actually lied to that man, that nice man back there. I should go back and tell him the truth." And he said, "Just keep walking." Right. Just <laughs> keep walking, know, kid. Just keep walking. And I just said, I'm, I, "I was really impressed by the fact he he met Mengele." <laughs> and he lived to talk about it. And he lived to talk about it. The fact that he was in 11 concentration camps and still was alive after it was all over. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Uh, however, the survivor's guilt you must have after that much. Oh, I'm sure. You know, has got I'm to be sure. incredible. I mean, his mother was died, his daughter died, his sister died, his father died. You sure. Know. And he saw them all in the concentration camp before they went off to the gas chambers, and right, he went right. the other direction. It's just a, some amazing stories. But anyway, so we're, why did I get into that? Uh, you talked about a friend of yours who met Mengele. 
Yeah, yeah, but I mean, before that, how did I get into Jack? Oh, oh, because we were talking about the Comedy Store documentary, and you asked me yeah. if I was watching it, oh, and I said, I no, because I'm not I, in it. it. Yeah, and then I said, I saw one on, on the concentration camps, and I said the same thing. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got into, yeah, that, it's amazing how if you divert from what you're talking about, and then you lead to something else, and something else, and something else, eventually you have a hard time getting back to where you began. Yes. Yes, because you don't remember. Especially when you're my age. Oh, okay. You know. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, so uh, Stephen, so, so I you, I'm going to buy a new car. Really? Yeah. Brand new car or you? Brand new. Brand new. Really? Where are, you getting all this, where are you getting all this money from? I thought you weren't working. I'm not working, but I have savings. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm going to definitely do a big dent in my savings but uh, that's what I was well, wait, what wait, 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 in your whole drug fueled stupor yes you were able to save money no oh okay no 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 it's been recent that you've saved the money yes and also what happened was uh, Screen Actors Guild I put in for a pension and they said it's not much and I, and I said I was disabled and they said can you prove it and I said yes, and they, so they retroactive me back to 2003. So I got a big lump of money. Oh, wow. I pay my taxes on it, and I have a business manager handling the money. So I have to dip into it to buy the RAV4. Oh, okay. Cool. So, cool. I mean, I have a pension, about 900 a month or something with, with Sam. Yeah, my, mine's a little over, Mine's like 960 Really? Yeah. And, and you get it because you're disabled? I get it. Well, I get it because I was in the union. I'm still in the union. But how'd you get up to 960? I mean, I worked for years. Mine via after it. Okay. Yeah, yours is after, right? Well, it's after it, but then it, it got mixed in to SAG, and now it's a SAG after pension. Right, 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 right. Yeah, they screwed with our health insurance, huh? They really screwed. Oh yeah, you had to make X amount of dollars a, a year to get health insurance. And now you have to do more. Well, now you can also buy into the union. When I got into the union, you had to be in a union film and you had to have a speaking role. Mm -hmm. And Dirty Harry got me, the, oh, Clint Eastwood got me my SAG card. Yeah. I told you the story yeah, about yeah, me yeah. on location with, with Clinton stealing food. Yeah, right. And he was really nice to you. Yeah, he was very nice to me. Exceptionally nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but the point it was is that um, um, all, all the years I mean I worked I suddenly realized I did work a lot of of, uh, of after jobs. Mine comes to about nine twenty something like that nine eighteen something. So and you did a couple of movies and look at your pension. You know? Right 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 right. Because SAG always had a better pension than after it did. SAG SAG was the stronger of the two unions. After probably would have gone under if they had not merged. After, in case people don't know what after is, that's the broadcast union. Right, uh, American. Wait a minute, American, American Federation, Federation of, of Television, Radio, Television, Television Artists. Artists. Right. And it came down to what they filmed you on. If they filmed you on like video, it was considered after. The if they filmed you on film, SAG. then right. it was Screen Actors Guild. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, they combined the two unions combined, and now and they had this great thing for senior performers well, uh, where I never qualified for the regular insurance because I was right. not working in most cases I wasn't working a lot of after jobs in later years because they, the union wasn't as aggressive okay no. um, and so uh, I didn't have enough but th then I got this thing that said you, you can get senior performer benefits and for 2000 a year Marjorie and I got, right. got uh, our health, uh, you know, our, our uh, what we call supplemental insurance. Right, okay. right, because Medicare only pays 80%. We got full prescription. Really? Well, I mean, we had to pay a certain amount, but it was much cheaper than it had been, okay. And and uh, also, um, uh, what, was the, what was the other thing? Uh, uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, dental, $2,500 a year dental. Really? Yeah, it was terrific. And then all of a sudden, in August, they said, 
Well, we're having troubles with the whole thing, and so all you senior performers are going to have to go over and go to this company called Via Benefits. They'll help help you get insurance using your Medicare. You know, didn't work out. It, well, no, I mean, it's I could go to, I literally could go to any insurance salesman for this. I don't have to go to this Via Benefits. Right, you know? right, right, right. So really, what they did is they took all all the senior performers. And they threw them to the dogs, literally, you know. And I saw a thing with them, and they said, well, we, it was either this, we had to save the union. And I'm thinking, yeah, but you didn't have to save your performers because some people right. are going to die as a result of this because they could afford that 2000 a year. But now, for instance, my between my wife and I, it'll go up to about eight, 9000 a year. Wow. You know, and her, business, her company is paying for it for us. Okay. that she works for but when they're gone we're still going to have to pay for it but i think about those performers there's a there's a performer by the name of norman lloyd do you know who he is no i don't he is the oldest member of sag really yeah he's the oldest member of sag he was the guy in saboteur by hitchcock who fell off the uh, statue of liberty okay okay that's norman lloyd norman lloyd is 105 years old i believe Wow. In order to get benefits, you have to make so much money every year. That's correct. Okay. That's right. Before, if you got pension, that pension went towards what you earned. Right. Under the new plan, it doesn't go to what you earn. So if you're taking your pension, you can't use it against what you should be paying in order to get their benefits. Right. So consequently, Norman Lloyd can't get insurance. 105, they can't get insurance. 105, he can't get it. Oh, he can get it. He can pay for it, but it's going to cost him four times what he was paying. Right, 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 right. You know, no, that, that, that's, that's, now that's the bad side of a union for sure. Well, the, the, that union has gone to, in the dumper, you know. But here's, what, here's what I hate, see. And, and, and I'm sure you hate it too. I hate people using the COVID crisis as an excuse for their incompetence. And okay. in this case, they're using the COVID. Oh well, COVID came along. You know, we can't afford this, and we need to. We have to. No, figure out a way to not screw your members. Okay, maybe. Well, that's what the that's what the union is supposed to do is watch out, protect its members. You want to save money? Don't put out that stupid magazine you put out every month. Right, that nobody reads. That nobody reads. And only has pictures of executives in the union shaking hands with other executives in the right, union. Right, 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 or right, here's, right. Here's me with Clint Eastwood. Hey. Right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, I just, I, I, uh, it's sad. It's really sad. And, and, uh. So I don't know how you're affected by that. Are you? Do you have insurance through the union? No, no. So who? T how do you take care of your medical insurance? Well, right now I have Medicare and Medicaid, yeah. and as soon as I get some uh, Massachusetts ID, I'll I'll apply for Medi uh, Mass Health. Mass Health. Now that's the one that was the precursor to Obamacare. Right, right, yeah. right, right. And right. It's, it's supposedly pretty good. Supposedly it's great. Yeah. You know, if I qualify. The, it, it, do you qualify just by living there now, or do you have to live there for a certain amount of time? No, by living here, and you have to have X amount of dollars, less than X amount of dollars. I think it's you have to have less than uh, two thousand dollars in your bank account. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I have more than that. Oh. Well, it's, send some to me. All right. Yeah. 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 Don't don't hold your breath, but go wait by the mailbox. Fiscally, you're doing okay. Yes. That, yeah. that, that's great. She Which had, isn't bad because, you know, I, I, I took a couple of decades off in my, like you put it, my drug-induced stupor. Yeah, yeah. But apparently it had a financial uh, advantage. Yes, yes. <laughs> so everybody who's listening to this right now, here's your hint. Go out, get yourself a good drug habit. Oh, a superior drug a habit. Superior Don't have to have the Ricky Donkey drug. In fact, he was a professional at it. Okay. That's right. That's correct. Yeah, Don't they, do this. I'm a professional. Actor first, a second, heroin addict first. Yes. Yes. 
What do you... First and foremost, I had an <laughs> opioid base. <laughs> you know? Uh, isn't, it fun? isn't it fun we can laugh about this now? Oh, yeah. If, if I, you know, the other day I smoked a cigarette and I got high off it. Did you really? I really got a buzz off <laughs> one cigarette. Son of a bitch. Hey, listen, we've uh, run out of time again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's always great talking to you. And I can yeah, hardly wait good. till I can see you again, you know, because you're so right. close yet so far because of COVID. Yeah, one, one of these days when the COVID ends, we'll have a meal together. You'll come down here. I got a room for you and everything, and we can hang, and I would love to see you. Yeah, oh, me too. Me too, you. Good, good old friend. That. That's a great sweatshirt. Oh, this is a, 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 they did this in uh, every year they would they had a I can't remember what the organization was, but they held a um, they raised money for the organization and uh, Yoko gave them the rights to do stuff based on right. John Lennon because right right right. So I have a, quite a few. I have another John Lennon uh, really t uh, sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. Monica's yeah. coming up. Huh. Nothing. I just said Hanukkah's around the corner. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, I, that's a sweatshirt like that would make a lovely gift. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen <laughs> Kravitz. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yes. Thank you very much, Stephen Kravitz, uh, starting off our show tonight. A lot of those things were recorded several weeks ago, but because so many things have happened in the meantime, I haven't had a chance to play them. So if it seemed a little out of date, like a reference to Hanukkah coming and things like that, it's a, that's the reason why. Uh, so anyway, uh, welcome to our fine program. Uh, nothing much has changed since yesterday, so let... <laughs> yeah, oh boy. What a clusterfuck, huh? Yes, absolutely. Anyway, let me see here. Uh, I got to go uh, to our Zoom panel. Let me admit them all here. Let me see here. There you go, admit all. And then I go here like that, and there they are. Okay, there's uh, Charlie Wallace. That's and, me. And uh, yes, and uh, there is uh, um, uh, 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 Jeff Stein, and uh, I would imagine a few more people will be calling any moment now. Wow. Nothing much has happened in the last 24 hours. Nope, it's, still in limbo. But <laughs> the last couple of hours, things have started to change. Uh, who would have thunk that Georgia would be in play? Yep. Uh, it is now uh, somewhere around 1,700 vote difference in Georgia. Yep. And there's still something like 47,000 ballots to be counted. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Biden's got Georgia, is what I think. Okay. Yep. And That'll give him uh, over 290. No, 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 no. Because I don't, th I don't know if he's going to get Arizona or not. That, that, oh, did that close up a little? Uh, it, well, yeah, it's clo that's closing up. We don't know what's going to happen in, in Arizona. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen in Nevada, but I'll tell you that if he, if, he, if he gets Georgia, he's one vote away from 270. And it looks like he's going to get Pennsylvania, too. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, if, at this point, Trump better start packing. I don't think there's a way. There's, he's got. I what did I, what did I see? Do I have it here? Uh, there was a there was a statistic that was kind of interesting, in that he had uh, Biden has something like 15 ways he could win this, and Trump only yep. has one. Yep, Trump's got to sweep the board. Yeah, Trump's got to sweep the board. Them all. So uh, it's it, I. I would say, I would say Biden's going to win it, but boy, it's going to be a squeaker. Isn't this driving you nuts, Robert? No, no, no. Well, Very little drives me nuts. Okay, but you're a betting man, right? Well, okay. 
Well, I mean, you kind of... I don't consider it... I've never considered it that because I, the way I play, it's almost not gambling. It's methodical wagering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. It's a salary. Yes. Uh, and so as a betting man, which I think we could call you... Okay. Uh, where would you put your bets on this one? Oh, it's not even close. Really? I don't think I don't think you could get somebody to take Trump right now. Oh, really? No, I you know, I really don't. Except for the Trump. only way. Yeah, not even Trump. <laughs> well, apparently not for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yes, the, Brian. The only way Trump can hit two seventy is if he loses fifty pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I stole that one, but that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, they, you know, I mean, um, but I just, I, I just want it to be over. Over. Exactly. Now, how do you figure that he lost? Okay. And by the way, he is going to lose by more than anybody has ever lost in the history of the United States in the popular vote. Do you yeah. know that Biden is over? Four million. Yeah. Now how and it'll be? It'll yeah. be more when all it'll is said done. Yeah, all yeah. the votes in California haven't come in yet. That's California right. California seventy-five percent of New Not York, right. New York as well, because they get they get um, they get put up as winners for the Democrats so early that they're under no obligation to be in a rush to do the actual yeah. count. Yeah. 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 So while we're on the air today, tonight, we may actually see the vote for Georgia come in. Flip. And flip to Biden. Yep. Uh, it, it's like within 1,700, and I think they have 47,000 votes I heard left in Georgia. Yeah. You know, so let's say, let's say a lot of those go to Trump. He still doesn't have that advantage. No. You know? uh, and they say that those votes are... Democratic votes. Yeah, a and, lot of them from Atlanta. Yeah. And in, Phil Maryland, in, in right? Pennsylvania, Philadelphia is one of the main places still to yep. be really counted. And that's going to come in Democratic. And up around uh, Scranton, is it? Uh, yeah. He, that, that where he was born, that's going to come yep. in for him. So um, uh, it looks like, and he, uh, there, let's see here. I got it here. In Pennsylvania... Uh, he's got, he's uh, how many votes ahead is Trump? It's uh, uh, three million two hundred fifty five. About twenty six grand. About twenty six thousand, and there are like a half a million votes still left to yeah. be counted, and they're all starting to come in. About eighty yeah. percent Biden. So and Trump, and, they haven't they haven't begun to count the Antifa vote either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, and Trump Trump's complaining like these miraculous votes just miraculously yeah. come in, yeah. but they're all mail in, and he knows that the Democrats were going mail it in, so you don't have yeah. to you know, deal with all that stuff. So he should he knows. Well, he he's... he went around telling his people, "Don't mail them in, go down exactly. and vote," yeah, so, they yeah. so that the initial vote, the initial surge, was going to be for Trump. But the exactly. people who mailed it in were the Democrats who, when I ain't doing what Trump says to do, you know, that's not safe. And they, they mailed him in. And the Republican legislature in Pennsylvania for one state, there were others, passed yeah. laws that said they couldn't count the mail-in yeah. vote until the election was completed. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that was purposely to create this illusion that Trump on election night had yeah. won. Well, you know what yeah. happened is this, this was something, I don't know why I got so worried, you know, the first night, because we were all told, don't pay attention to that first yeah. uh, yep. number. Yep. And, and the reason why we usually pay attention to that first number is, is for, oh, let me turn my mic a little bit, is because um, we're used to it being that way. Because yeah. we haven't had... What what happened this year, which is different than any other year? How is this year different than any other year? It's like the beginning of Passover. Yeah, anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is that we had COVID, yeah. and COVID changed the way we voted. A lot of early voting, 
You know, a lot of states set up early voting so people could go to the polls early. Uh, it, it got to the point where really election day was a uh, was an aftermath. You know, was a, yeah. a, a second notion. Yeah, more people early voted than voted on election day. Well, uh, yes, I think you're right about that. But the fact is, it just the, the nature of how we count these things and how we look at them are different. But in the old days, when I was growing up as a kid and you sat there on election night, you waited for the numbers to come in. And while when you were bleary-eyed by about 1 o'clock in the morning, somebody was declared the winner. Yeah. But there was no COVID. There was no voting in advance. I mean, you had to vote on the day of the election, you know. So all that has changed. Trump's not used to that. Trump's used to the way I grew up, okay? And he, he's going, oh, I want to know what the winner is the night of the election. Well, you know, you might have an idea who the winner is, but nothing's official till several weeks later when all the states yeah. ratify it, you know? Uh, so, I mean, what I'm saying is that because of COVID, the way we have, uh, we're electing people now has changed. And this will be the change, Okay. This will be the way it will be yeah. uh, from here on in. I don't think we're ever going back to some other way of doing it. Even if COVID's out of the way, gone, goodbye, see you later, you know? Uh, speaking of COVID, um, remember, that, remember what he said? Uh, after Election Day, you're not going to hear about COVID ever again. Okay. Yeah. Well, today it went up to 120,000 cases. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and it's on the news. Uh, you know, we're talking about it. <laughs> yep. Here in New York, we had 24 deaths and, and we're up to about 1.8% of the tests coming back positive. Yep. Uh, so we're, you know, I mean, I, I if, if this keeps going on, I'm going to call my doctor and not have that operation. I'm not going into a hospital to have something done. So, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Texas is pulling away ahead of California in infections, too. Really? Well, I mean, <laughs> come on. You know, something. Is, it, people, stop it, will you? Just wear that goddamn mask. That's all you've got to do. It's simple. It's, it's easy. It's no biggie. They won't do it in Texas. Well, you know, I lived in Texas for many years. I love Texas, by the way. I went, of all the places I lived besides New York, Houston was my favorite. I loved Houston. But they're dumb down there. <laughs> yeah. There goes that audience. It, well, there goes that audience. Yeah, right. Come on. Uh, well, no, I just, uh, uh, Jack Bishop isn't going to be listening to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott just turned off his uh, his yeah. computer. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, no, I mean, I mean, they'd even agree with me. You know, it, 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 I don't know if the intelligence level of the average American is that great. Now, I don't want to be snotty about hey, this, hey. but I'm sorry. I, you know, uh, if there's anything I can't stand is stupid people, and everywhere I go, there are people I can't stand. All right, so you know. <laughs> That's that's that. Hello, Tony. I have to tell you. What? You know, Alex, you hit something in the head. And I got to tell you something. What? I, I just heard you before about Trump. Yeah. You know, I, I'm thinking when he came out, Trump planned this whole thing. He knew, meaning like the other night, he knew to come out at four. He knew what he was doing. They're setting the wheels in motion. I think everybody who thinks he's the village idiot, he won't. He wants the civil unrest. He everything to me, I think, is planned with him. Well, he mm. certainly he certainly has been inspiring it. Okay, uh, this is the most irresponsible president we've ever had yep. when it came to public sa when it's come to public safety. He, he yep. you know, when he won't tell the uh, what is it the Proud Boys or whatever the name of that group was. Yeah, the Proud Boys. Uh, uh, when he said, uh, "Stand down, but stand by." What the hell? That means like when you know, you come the on. That when did it jump in? Oh, it's listen. The people, what? The people who, who the people who took that bus, the, those uh, intimidating that bus. He said they were good exactly. patriots. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Tried to run Biden's bus off the road. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, you know, I, yeah. earlier tonight, I went down the block to get my mother a slice of pizza. By the way, 26,000 20, in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And when I went to the pizzeria quick with my mask on, there was an older kid that I went to high school with. He was like two years older than my sister's age. Mm -hmm. He was a fucking idiot his whole life. Stupid. Well, anyway, I guess, I guess was, we know which way he's going on this story. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Do you know what he tells me? Hey, Tony, how's your sister? Is she still teaching? I says, yeah, she's still teaching. I says, yeah. And he goes, uh, so what do you think of the conspiracy? You know what? They were getting the votes. I'm like, Joe, you really believe that? He says, well, yeah. He says, okay, I got to go. Just as dumb as he was when he was in school. Alex, I'm <laughs> telling you, he has, you said it. There were idiots out there. Yes. You know what I think is terrible about this? You know, we have somebody who calls this show, um, Kevin, who is a poll worker. Mm -hmm. And these people work very hard. And they do it for very little money. It's not like they're doing it for the money. They're doing mm -hmm. it because they enjoy being part of the process. To, to say the kinds of things Trump has been saying besmirches exactly. these people who are just... I, I saw a picture of them. Somebody mentioned they're standing on hard floors in a drab room, yeah. punching out these things and shoving them in the machines and adding them up and doing all this, why? To make a buck? No. But I'm going to tell you something, no. Alex. My for mom's us. Friend that, but there's a lady down the block who watches my mom for us, Alex, Patty. She's yeah. an older woman. Yeah. She she worked the, co the school. She needs the money, right? Yeah. And it's almost like it's a disgrace to her. When I went to vote, how's your mom? This and that. She's doing good, Patty. You know, it's almost like you're making fun of these people who actually need the money. Yeah. He's yeah. a fucking scumbag, Alex. Now he can drop dead now, Trump. I don't care. Yeah, well. He's no fucking good. Well, no you know, I want, him, when he, I want him to drop dead after he's no longer president because I don't want to get uh, Pence. You know. Pence I, I, I'll like tell you, though. I, I'll tell you. Treatment. I'll tell you. We are getting a textbook <clears throat> treatment here. A textbook uh, case of uh, how, how, how to be a sore loser. Mm. <laughs> you know? I mean, right, Robert? I mean, this is oh. the sorest loser. He today, you know what he said today? What did he, he say? He said, I am not going to concede. Mm -hmm. What a mm -hmm. fucking jerk. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what Biden does, he, if he says he's won the thing and he's, he takes, he thanks everybody, or what, I don't care, I'm not <clears throat> conceding. He's got today he kept saying, like, in Georgia we won... We won. And then they started whittling at the lead. I'm like, you didn't win. <laughs> you didn't said, win. Game I, over. Yeah. I won, and then they kept taking more votes. I'm like, what the hell? You didn't win. I, I won the baseball game except for those six home runs they got. Yeah. Yeah, and the eighth inning, right? Yeah. Eight yeah. <laughs> right. And, you and, don't count that. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, that game was fixed. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was fixed. No, that lady who's making $100 a day in a ham sandwich is really looking to tilt it in her way just so yeah. you can well, get a I couple mean, of bucks. You know, he said, what did, what, did he, what did he say tonight? He said something to the effect of uh, uh, all, all the ballots that were taken were um, all, the, all the legitimate ballots, yeah, yeah. I won. But if you yeah. count the illegitimate ballots, I lost. Well, yeah. now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. What's an illegitimate no. ballot? You know, illegal. And, and that's he wanted people to say that. He said, "I want people to say they're going to count the rest of the illegal ballots, yeah. uh, legal, the legal ballots." Yeah. Well, yeah, the thing but, is, he went to he, he went to court in almost every state so far that he wanted yeah. to stop the counting, and judges have told them, "Get oh. out of here." <laughs> you know, they, they, we're not yeah, even going to consider case. your case. You you know. Because they were saying, oh, well, because there's a fraud. I said, well, what? how is it? Show us some proof there was fraud. Well, we don't have any. Well, then, oh, we're sorry. You know. But Rudy said it's true. Well, <laughs> if Rudy said it's true, it's got to be true. You know. Is he still playing with himself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alex, you were on a TV show. Would you take a wire off laying on your back and asking for a phone number? Well, to begin with, if you take a, if you're, if you're removing a wire, yeah. it's not in your pants. Yeah, I was gonna say, what would it be doing? Uh, I, I mean, I've uh, uh, they usually clip it to your belt in the back. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, and and uh, uh, you have to know to do something, by the way, because sometimes they put these things on you, and 
then they keep them on you for the rest of the day as long as you're shooting something. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the bathroom, you have to turn the switch off. Sure. Even my you mother, can't remember to, you can't you got to remember to turn the switch off otherwise you're gonna you know so be, they never wrap them around your penis never no, wrap them around right my mother said to get he's it off. playing with himself I, met, I was watching bart i showed her the clip she's why is he laying on the bed i said well that's america's mayor ma yeah he was tired she even he knows. was tired she knows what's going he was on. tired and then it, what did he say he was doing he was uh, tucking in his shirt yeah, yeah. Well, how the down. how the hell did it come out <laughs> you know, I mean, but but it was it was amazing um, that that he said that he was trying to adjust you know adjust his microphone or whatever. You know, I'm sorry, it, he, he uh, you know ugh. that he's, that he, man is you know these vote these vote counters in Philadelphia that they keep showing are all wearing these goddamn road construction things, and I'm wondering like. When 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 they go, go on a break, are they building a bridge? Yeah, yeah, side? I noticed that. Are they wearing? All, I, you know what? what I, you know what I think that is. I think it is just things. for safety. That, yeah, because all the that, dust and junk that comes out of the machine. No, but also that you don't bump into somebody. Uh -huh. You know, I mean that could well be the reason. Uh, but yeah, they, if you look at the uh, they they have you know they have cameras in all these counting rooms just so they can be very transparent about it, right? So nobody yeah. can say, hey, they're throwing them in garbage cans and whatever. Although I was I was I turned on Fox it? tonight to, oh, to, to Hannity, oh, and he had it. people on who said, yeah, I took ballots and dumped them in the garbage. Okay. You know, and how do you know they weren't? For, uh, yeah. yeah. Being thrown in the well, exactly. You know, uh, I mean, oh, that's proof positive. We got to call off the whole election because somebody threw 20 ballots in a garbage can. Uh, can't that person get in trouble? Of course. That? Of course they can. Yeah, so well, he's stupid. One of them had his voice distorted. <laughs> one of them had his, <laughs> you know, but I'm come going, on. come on. You know, I, I, I'm on. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trump is not getting robbed of this the person that robbed him of his re-election was himself okay yeah. because he didn't react to human need he didn't care what was going on uh he, you know it's sad it's just sad see but, I, I, mm -hmm. i'll defend trump though it there is a history there's a precedent with him getting robbed Apparently, he was robbed of about three quarters of a million inauguration attendees. Yeah, yes, that. yes, absolutely. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that in Georgia, you know what the percentages are? 49.4% to 49.4%. It's going to be a runoff. I yes. love it. Well, it's not gonna, this is not no. going to be a runoff. I no, think no, you're no. going to see Biden go past him by about maybe three, 4,000. Oh, I can't, I can't enough get a enough that it doesn't have to be a recount. We want him to slit his wrist slowly. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, you missed it. You got time. Don't worry. Arizona oh, just, will come just and keep, finish go, it off. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dad. Do it. Trump's trying to make his people mad by, think, by, by implying that the Democrats are still letting people come in and vote. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, yeah. they're not. These are all votes that were in by 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. or whatever it was on Tuesday. These were already votes that were in. They just haven't been counted yet. Right. Yeah, well, they, these are votes that they had to be there by a certain time. Yeah. And then they can count them for days, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, and they should be allowed to because they, they, there are so many votes that to do that takes some work and time and effort and so on. And we want it to be accurate. Yeah, and, the and, Democrats had money in the House bill in May that would have uh, given hundreds of millions of dollars to the states to upgrade their counting equipment so they could count faster, and the Republicans yeah. refused yeah. to pass it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. And, and oh, by the way, what's not getting reported enough are the votes that are still sitting in mail facilities because yeah. the U.S. mail was told to slow down. The joy ought to go to prison. In Philadelphia alone, there are tens of thousands that never got off the floor. And that can be proven. That can be yeah. shown. I wonder if Dr. Fauci under Biden is going to become uh, 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 Surgeon General. That would be nice. 
you know, that'd be a nice gift for all the suffering that he had to go through with Trump. You know, the thing about, about Fauci, people go, well, he didn't exactly go against Trump. And I said, no, he is a doctor, he's a scientist. He wanted to get things through and things to be done properly. And he felt probably that by going after Trump and all of this or embarrassing Trump, he wasn't going to get what was needed. Yep. You know, and I, I, I have nothing but the uh, greatest amount of respect for Fauci. And now that he doesn't seem to be giving a shit anymore, you know. Well, Trump says he's going to fire him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he'll probably fire him during the 90-day period between oh, now yeah. and the uh, inauguration. <laughs> yeah, who's okay. he going to can? I bet you he starts firing people like me. Well, no, he's just going to, he does not, he shouldn't fire anybody. I mean, it's ridiculous. But they collect you're, unemployment. You're on your way out the door, <laughs> but he'll do it just out of spite. Yeah, you're That's right. A I think he fires him, Alex. I mean, I've gotten fired from my supermarket job when I was a kid. I kind of was happy, though. But if you think thinking, well, man, when you well, get fired. Well, this is a little from, different than you getting yeah, fired right. from your $3 supermarket an hour and job. $150,000. Grand. But, Alex, if you get fired from Trump, you think they're happy on the way out? It's something like a bad Javana. Thank well, God I, he fired me. I don't know how he would get out of here. I, I wonder how many people give him the finger on their way out the door. Yeah, how, many, how many books are going to be written after this? Oh, well. <laughs> you think he says, can you give me a good, re uh, can you give me, what do they say on my resume? That when they call up your past reference. employer? Reference. Good reference. Yeah. Good reference. Yeah. Yeah. Good reference. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, you, don't you think, uh, doesn't think Biden's going to be talking to him right away? I mean, Biden, like I, I think, I think, you know, between now, if, if he does get elected, that he's going to start taking action right away. Well, here, I think he, yeah. Fauci would probably be the first person he starts consulting and saying, who do we oh, need yeah. on this team to get, to t start, you know, taking care of everything. The, oh, yeah. I'm sure he will do that. But yeah. I'm wondering how much damage Trump can do in the 90 days. Can he still sign things, sign executive oh, yeah. orders and do all do that? Really, do you really I think he wants to? <laughs> what? Do you really think he wants to? I, I, I personally think at that point he kind of pulls the plug on it and just worries about himself. Like yes. he'll he'll maybe give away contracts to people who'll kick back to him, you know, things like that. But as far as affecting policy, he wouldn't know a policy if it bit him on the ass yeah. for four years. So now it's not like he's going to come up with health care. Right. You know, between now <laughs> and January. No, but he could do a lot to uh, hold back people from collecting on their health. Well, it would be it would be very nice. It's very nice of him to suddenly tell us what his health care plan was. Yeah. Don't get sick. <laughs> yeah, I want to hold my breath on that. Don't yeah, get I it. hope he takes his ball and goes home. Well, I don't think he's going to go nicely. Okay. No, here here are a couple of things that outgoing presidents do for the incoming presidents. To begin with, they have a meeting with them. And they tell them all the stuff right. they feel they should know and be aware of and be ready for. Yeah. I don't think he's going to hold that meeting with, with Biden. I mean, Biden, I'm yeah. sure, would be willing to sit there and listen, but he's not going to hold it with Biden. Yeah. The second thing that every president has done is they write a note to the incoming president, and they put it in the desk in the Oval Office yeah. so that when he goes in there and he opens up the desk, there's the letter and he can read it. And usually it's something like, you know, enjoy the job, Hope you're successful at it. You know, whatever. Obama wrote one for, for Trump, believe it or not. Uh, he's not going to write one of those letters, do you think? No. no. I mean... He this... doesn't even know how to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> the big print. You know, the big print yeah. that he has. Yeah. You know, that scroll, that, that uh, <laughs> echocardiogram that he <laughs> calls a signature. Yeah. Rayons. Uh, but, I mean... Um, uh, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think that, uh, uh, for instance, you know, they always, when there's a pr previous president, they draw a portrait of him and they put it up. Yes, and really. then they invite the former president to come in yeah. and, and see it. When Obama's was put up in the White House, no. do you think no. they held, held an un, what are the, unveiling and had tr uh, Obama there? Nope. So, Trump refused. Huh? He did. Yeah. Yes. Trump refused. I never knew that. Oh my god! What a you know, there are little, there are little niceties you do for yeah. other people, and it, it, it's just a matter of form. 
It, it's the yeah. nice thing to do. Well, did you have you ever seen that you ought to know, Tony? What's that? Is that when the president becomes the ex president, okay, after he leaves, mm -hmm. he gets a special car that he can drive in all the time, and it's one of those safety cars. Yeah. So that if yeah. you sh oh, wow. try to shoot him, you're not going to kill him. Yeah. So I'm just you mean, ordering you don't um, waste your don't wait don't don't, don't waste your ammunition. <laughs> right. I mean, yes, jo Robert. I was joking the other night. Right, I Robert, yeah. his own delicious. <laughs> Robert. Robert wanted to say something. Yes, Robert. I was just going to ask you guys: Have you noticed the past few days that the the um, reporters on CNN, for example, have gotten a lot snarkier about Trump. Oh, yeah. Like I yeah. noticed tonight, after he gave that spiel, Trump, the CNN guys were getting vicious about it. Really? Uh, Jim Acosta was at the White House and he was awfully snarky. And I thought to myself, they really are enjoying the fact that, look, I don't have to kowtow to this son of a bitch anymore. Um, one guy, I think it was Acosta, said Trump, who's historically had a weak relationship with the truth, which I thought was, you know, a little bit snotty, mm -hmm. but it was good, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. two years ago, he's not in a position to say that because, you know, he wants to keep his credentials. Right. And, and you want to have it. You want to have some kind of a sure a relationship sure. Uh, with the with the White House. While all along he's railing against you while you're sitting in yeah. the audience going, and yeah. your people and CNN, the fake news, and blah, 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 blah. But tonight he went on to give his little speech about, you know, I'm being robbed and here's how I'm, mm -hmm. how, how, how illegally they are trying to steal the vote from me. And um, MSNBC, about two minutes into it, just pulled it. They, they said, it. you know, we're, cut we're, we're cutting this and we're not going to run it because he's just lying. Yeah, he's not telling yeah. the truth. He's not telling the truth. He's not telling the facts. You know, we were looking for something newsworthy here, and all he's doing is spreading more untruths. And if we hear him start telling the truth, we'll go back to him. And they never did go back to him. No, I know. Yeah. You, know, you had to go over to Fox to see the rest of that little speech, mm. you know. Uh, but I mean, it's gotten to the point now where Twitter starts flagging his his posts and saying this is not true here, yeah. and then they say here's a link to something that will show you what the truth is. You know, they 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 see the they see how bad it is when somebody is spreading lies and the kind of distortions that he's doing, causing problems and people to do things and so on and so forth, and they feel a responsibility to. To do this, it's the only president we've ever done this for, you know. I mean, a president gives a speech, usually give it, run it from beginning to end. Yep. But with Trump, it's just, and it goes on forever and ever, you know. Uh, he he leans to one side and then he reads the teleprompter and then he ad libs for a little while and then he turns the other way and leans. And Same talks. stupid stories. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just been. I'll be so glad when it's over. I I just hope, you know, we, we get some kind of resolution to this. And we should probably have a clear vision within the next uh, 12 hours uh, of where this is going. Um, if he gets Georgia, he's one vote away from having the 270. Yeah, it would be at least a tie. And all he has to do is get, he could get Arizona, he could get Nevada, he probably it looks like he probably is going to get Pennsylvania, you know. So I mean, there there are a lot of ways that he can become president by tomorrow afternoon. Okay. We uh, can't afford a tie. No, we can't afford a tie. We yeah. lose oh. in the tie. Huh? Yeah. We lose if it ties. Why, why do we lose? Oh, because it goes oh, to the house. Oh yeah. It's not one vote per representative. It's one vote per state. Yeah, more the, states have the majority Republican reps. Oh, six majority. states yeah. have a majority of Republicans in their in their group. Oh boy. So we would lose in the House of Representatives. 
This won't be a tie. No. Uh, it's one way, but it's unlikely. Well, Trump at this point with, what, 203? What does he have, 203 uh, votes? 213. 213. He's going to have to run the board in yeah, order to win. Yeah, he's going to have to win them all. Uh, Biden only has to win two. Yeah, yes, one, two. or one. Well, no, no. well, one. If he, if well, he, if, Pennsylvania. if he gets Pennsylvania, 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 it's all over. It's all over. Yeah, and it looks like he's going to have Pennsylvania. It looks like he's going to get uh, Georgia. Uh, it could well be that he's going to he's going to exceed two seventy. He's going to get over three hundred by the time he's finished. Yeah. So, you know, we'll wait and see. But you know, I I. Again, I said this last night, I said it the night before, I could be very happy that, you know, if Biden wins, but I still don't feel good about it. And what I don't feel good about is that Trump did that well. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, let's face it, here's a popular vote, uh, 70, well, almost 74 million for Biden and about uh, six and a half million, uh, 69, uh, well, almost uh, 69 and a half million uh, votes yeah. for Trump. Uh, that means 69,645, uh, 113 people voted for Trump. That's a lot. That's scary yeah. because there are a lot of things you got to be to vote for Trump. Do you think they're the Trump, they're Trump cults, they're, they're not the Republicans? Well, I mean, a lot of those people are just like well, gung-ho and, oh, yeah, Trump, 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 but they don't even understand the, the we're Republicans. Ta we're talking 69 million people who voted for Trump. So if they voted for Trump, let's face it, they're voting for racism. Yeah. You know? They're voting for no health care. Yeah. But the part that bothers me the most is they don't really believe Black Lives Matter. Uh, yes, Robert. You know, this this morning I happened to flip on C-SPAN and they were doing the show where they alternate taking calls from Trump supporters and then Biden supporters and back and forth. And a guy came on from mm -hmm. Indiana. And he sound, he, I think he, he said he was a, a farmer and he said he supported Trump. And then he went on to explain why. And it opened my eyes a little bit. He, he said... You know, he said, I'm a farmer, I'm a hunter, I'm a fisherman, um, I own a pickup truck. He said, you know, the Democratic Party has come to represent the big cities and they want to change the way we live here. Hmm. And all we want is to just live the way we live. And it struck me, there may be something to that, that we as a as the left-leaning people have missed. We used to be far more the party of labor, blue-collar workers, mm -hmm. but at some point the message shifted and we became the left and right coast supporters and the middle of America started to feel disenfranchised from our party. That guy that was on C-SPAN didn't sound like he was enamored with Trump at all. It sounded more like he was afraid that his lifestyle was going to be swallowed up by big city elites mm -hmm. and Wall Street. Well, yeah, but, it, but the thing I was thinking today, Robert, about Biden was and why I was so proud of him is that he seemed to be embracing the ideals of the old Democratic Party, being the party of labor. He became really the labor advocate. He became the, 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 the average guy. He became the, you know, the, he, he didn't seem like he was the big, you know, who was, you know who was the big Madison Avenue or Park Avenue uh, candidate? Hillary. Donald Trump. Oh, sure. Trump, yeah. Donald Trump. Who's more? Who's more Park Avenue? Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know. So I mean, um, you know, I, I, that's what I don't get is how all these people, all, all those people, should really love Joe Biden. Yeah, but you I'm know. not sure Biden sold that message as effectively as he could have. Mm. Well, I, Jeff? I think he changed it. Uh, 
as compared to the beginning, which might be, you know, five months ago, as compared to what he did for the last month or so. And what he did was he really, at the beginning, talked about union guys, okay? And, and I don't know, somebody maybe got to talk to him and say, hey, guess what? There are no union, there are very few union guys anymore. And, and quite frankly, the, the market, the, the so-called uh, people that you're talking about in the city, they're not factory people, they're not union people. They're people who are well-educated, uh, maybe, you know, in a, in a variety yeah, of but, things. Yeah, but, but I think what I was trying to say is that he was, however, embracing the working man, you know? Yeah. Uh, he seemed like the working man's candidate. And, but Alex, uh, I don't think, if you pay close attention looking back, I don't think Trump ran against Biden. I think Trump ran against AOC, Nancy Pelosi, yeah. Bernie Sanders. Yep. And what he did was he controlled the message by making it about a factor in the Democratic Party that had little or nothing to do with Biden. With Biden him. is a yeah. moderate. He kept calling right Biden now. a socialist. Yeah, exactly. Biden was yeah. I'm going to tell you a lot and of as a socialist, that socialist. as a socialist that bothered me. You yeah. know, I mean, yeah. Biden is not a socialist. Right. You know. Not even close. But uh, you know what's interesting? I find out of this too, Robert, and even Alex too, is I was thinking about it with my older brother. I says, you know, thank God we beat this guy. But I'm going to tell you something. I never thought it'd be this hard to beat. That's what scares me. Well, that that that, that had a master plan in that back room. This thing should have been. Worked. This thing should have been settled Tuesday night, Alex. Around I nine o'clock. <laughs> Here's the question: What I'm worried about? Yeah. Well, they tr whoever runs again in four years, don't be surprised you haven't heard the last of Trump. He may not run again. He may he try again. Sure. He could try. He's he might alive, be able to get somebody alive. elected because there's there's seventy million people who vote for him now. He might might try, but after you know, you got to remember this is a guy who didn't get a second term. Okay, he's a failure, yeah. Uh, so he's got loser breath, and the de Republicans are gonna say once once he leaves, they're gonna go <laughs> and I find agree. find their next standard bearer. Mm -hmm. You know, remember I mean, remember Grover Cleveland though. What about what about Grover? Oh, because he came back a second he time. He lost. He won in four years. Then he lost, and then he won again. Yeah, but he was—he was, wasn't the asshole Trump is. Right. <laughs> well, but you plus Trump. Oh, sorry. I'm huh? sorry, Tony. Trump you know, lost. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you go. Know. I'm sorry again, Tony. <laughs> Trump lost this time, and he damn near lost last time. And even though he didn't lose, he lost the popular vote big time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're the Republican Party, I think you've got to look at him and say, that's a shaky proposition. Yeah. Second of all, do we really want to put up with his shit for another four years? I think the Republican Party right now sees this as like a, a time of a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see a lot of different people in the Republican Party surge forward to try to grab hold of the leadership. I think like Nikki Haley, I think uh, Tom Cotton, I think a lot of people see this as an opportunity to kind of reshift the focus of the Republican Party. And you're going to hear mm -hmm. them say that they're going to go back to Republican values, balancing the budget, small government. Mm -hmm. None of these things that you heard during By four the way, years. what happened to Nikki Haley? She, is she still the UN ambassador? No, yeah. she left the job, I believe. Yeah, she did. Yeah, but well, who who's our UN ambassador now? Am I stupid? That's I a don't good know. I have to or, or do people go through that administration so fast that you can't catch the name? Do we still belong to the UN? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, he may not even be elected. Yeah, I mean, it's really, uh, uh, yeah, it's weird that I don't know who the UN ambassador is. Yeah, and I usually too. always, you, you always knew who the UN ambassador yeah. was. Yeah. You know? Alex, here's a question I ask you. Do you think, because you know he blames China, do you think he's going to actually do a Freudian slip 
on one of his speeches and say that Chinks gave it to me and cost me the election. <laughs> I'm waiting for it on the edge of my couch. I'm just waiting for it to slip out. Yeah. He's going to say it. He's going to say it. He didn't say it. He didn't say it. Yeah. Uh, Kelly uh, hey, Craft. Kevin. Kelly Craft. Kelly oh, Craft. Okay. I was going to look it up. Kelly Craft. I, I never yeah. heard of her. Never heard Whoever of her. Whoever that is. Yeah. Okay. Is that even a male or a female? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, Kevin. How yeah. do you feel about the fact that poll workers are stealing the election? I actually, I don't twit, but I actually got on the real Donald Trump and I twitted to him, you asshole. Thank you for disparaging me. And uh, I appreciate you. Uh, I forgot what I said, but I basically told him, thanks for uh, disparaging me and all the Americans that strive to make an honest and, uh, clean election we work hours and hours and i ran out of words <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh, my question is i mean in caps how did you feel when you first heard him go after uh the polls poll watch poll people as 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 cheating and robbing him of the election and i was pissed <laughs> because let me ask you this question you do it every four years for the money right Every two, <laughs> every two years for the money, right? Vacation for three. Yeah, all all seventy five dollars <laughs> for twelve hours. You do it because you want to do it, right? You want That's to be right. a, as a citizen. You want to do your part, and to 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 besmirch those people with just such a broad stroke is is horrible. I yeah. look at all those people behind doing all the counting right now, and I feel their pain, man. They're out there busting their ass just to sort paper and run it through a damn machine to make sure it's right. Yeah. And he's sitting up there talking shit about them. That's bullshit. Yeah. 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 Absolute bullshit. Terrible. Well, he's the guy that called our, our service members suckers and losers. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you see these memes. I saw a meme just before I came on here, you know, the guy putting the paper up on the wall in Detroit. And they're going, oh look, they're not hiding anything. They're they're they need to put paper up on the walls. I go, that's because the people on the other side of the, on the other side of the window are sitting there sorting papers while other people on the other side of the window are aiming guns at them. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that ain't Democrats. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, and and he in, he in, in you know incited that incited that yeah. situation. Um. Oh God! I'm just, there's I'm the. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of all the bullshit. Gee, Tony just moved his camera so we get a better shot of the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta scrooge my thing. I'll be right back. You got what? It's a beautiful thing. I gotta help her give her a pill. You have to go give her a couple of pills. Okay. Tony, I'm with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't give her too many, otherwise. Don't you, do it. Don't don't give her too many pills, otherwise you're out of work. You don't have a job anymore. That's right. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, yeah, Coley's, uh, Coley's. well, what you know, I mean, I'm just sitting here, I'm waiting to see if, um, uh, if, uh, if, if Virginia, you know, if George, uh, George is coming through anytime soon because, uh, it was getting so close. You just every hour it was inching its way down, you know. Well, I'll tell you, if it was me working those uh counting machines, I'd yeah. be going. One. One. <laughs> one. One. There's two. Two. Oops, this one's backwards. Three. <laughs> You'll find out sometime next Wednesday, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. So, so somebody, somebody got a great shot of this. Well, wow. The exit. Wow. The exit. Wow. <laughs> Something. That's, good. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a I very think it's good photoshopped. One. Yeah, I, I think it's regularly. That's yeah, pretty good. You, you yeah, think it is photoshopped? Or... <laughs> Looks like a good yeah. shot. Yeah. Some photographer was sitting there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, wow, this thing's in the way. Well, you know, in a year where you say what what can go wrong, oh, yeah, what more can go wrong? This takes the cake. This is like uh, our Christmas present, right? Yeah. And then right after this is over, we got to go back to the whole COVID thing because it's getting terrible. And I'm I'm supposed to take Marjorie out to dinner tomorrow night for her birthday, which was the mm. other day. And uh, I'm scared to do it because we're going to be eating indoors. Um, 
but I'll take my chances for her. I'm willing to die for her to have her oh, birthday dinner. What a guy. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know if I'm going to have this eye operation. I think I'm waiting a couple of weeks to see where the, the whole thing is going. But if it's getting worse and worse here in New York, I'm not doing it. You know, I can wait till next year. The doctor said, well, don't wait till next year because next year we may not be able to do elective surgery if it gets bad enough. And I'm saying to him, you know, I'll take my chances. You know, I can, I can go with my eyes being a problem for a little while more, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but I, you know, I don't want to have to have that operation uh, and, uh, you know, deal. It's just, I don't know. I'm bothered by it. So. Uh, Massachusetts just set up a, a new protocol for everybody who lives in Connecticut. What is that? For uh, keeping them healthier, which I assume some of it is just where you know wash your hands and all that kind of stuff too yeah but um uh, i think it's going to be more demanding and and maybe they're going to start arresting people if, if you're not well worried. all i'm saying is i'll tell you what happened here in new york our governor who i i really think has done a, a bang up job uh suddenly has gone to this micro cluster philosophy we'll find the micro clusters and we'll put it out put out the fires there doesn't seem to be working, you know. Um, mm. The microclusters are doing okay. The rest of the state is getting bad. And I think it's time that he starts saying, look, you people got to put on your masks. I'm closing down indoor dining. I'm, you mm. know, I'm shutting it all down again because you people are just getting too loosey-goosey with this and look what's happening. But I think he's afraid to do that now. Because he's, you know, he let people start opening up businesses again. Yeah. And uh, those, hmm? those, those, those micro clusters, I mean, that's just, I mean, you know, is it where the people live? Is it where they work? Is it where they're going it's, out and hanging like out if their they party find, friends? If they, if they find that, a that, that's what's spreading everything. If it's a, 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 a neighborhood where it flares up, they then clamp down on that neighborhood. Okay. Sure, but then they, before that, they were going somewhere to work. But but, they, but it doesn't, no, that does, that, you're, you're correct. That doesn't mean those people in those, that right. micro cluster aren't going to go right. outside the micro cluster to have dinner. Exactly. You know, so I mean, I think, I think really what we got to do is bite the big bullet, close everything down, and strangle this uh, uh, this 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 this, this virus. Because that's what you got to do. It's it's the only answer. Anybody disagree with me on that? No. Nope. You know. Nope. And they know what to do be before in March when we stopped everything. When the kids weren't going to go to school for a couple of weeks, and then they had another week off. We yeah. still weren't doing the mass thing, and there wasn't still wasn't a lot of serious stuff. At least right now, if they do stop that, they have a serious protocol to to you know follow. I'll but tell you, I, I did something the other day. That I afterwards I thought, why did I do that? I was asking to get killed. I was walking down the street with Marjorie, and I was just I was just irritated. I had just come back from that eye doctor, and I know the whole thing bothered me. And I was just not in a great mood. And we're walking back to the apartment, and I walked past two guys, not wearing masks, and I just looked over at them and yelled, "Wear a goddamn mask!" <laughs> And they just kind of, they just kept talking to each other. <laughs> they didn't care. But I took the chance of getting killed. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, pretty much. These days. But I mean, I, every time I see these people, I'm going, do you know that it's going up again? Do you know why? Because of you. Here yeah. it is Thursday, and something like eight college football games have been canceled for Saturday already, <laughs> including... Army against Air Force because there's COVID galore at the Air Force Academy. <laughs> you start hearing things like that, you wonder, you know, like, Jesus, it's... it's All of this can be stopped and nipped in the bud if we just all wear masks, wash yeah. our hands, <clears throat> and uh, what, what there's one other thing you got to do. I can't remember now. But Social you get distance. rid of the president. Six feet. Six feet apart. Six yeah. feet apart. Social distancing. And especially wear a mask if you can't social distance. You know. I mean, the reason why 
everybody should wear a mask because we can't social distance, especially <clears throat> in New York City. I get into an elevator, somebody else gets into the elevator. I'm sorry, I can't social distance. You know? Yeah, I've been back. I've been back at the gym, yeah. and the last 10, 12 days, I think, in a row, I've been doing elliptical for 30 minutes with the mask on, and it's it's. The pain. It's, it's a pain. Look, it's nobody, very hard. Look, look I, I, I got to do it. it. I sympathize with anybody who says to me, I can't stand wearing a mask. Because I can't stand wearing a mask. Nor can I. I couldn't stand wearing a condom, okay? <laughs> Over your head? Over Where were you wearing it? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong head. <laughs> it doesn't go there, Alex. Yeah. That head. <laughs> but... I mean, I don't like wearing it. When I go for a walk, it makes me breathe heavier. I have a harder time breathing, you know, and so on. But and with glasses, you know, it's bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and they fog up too. Although yeah. I found some masks oh, yeah. now that you can buy that stop it from fogging up. It's got a second little thing up here that prevents mm -hmm. it from fogging up your glasses. But uh, uh, you know, I don't like wearing it. But you got to do it. You know, it 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 and and. You want to stop wearing a mask? Well, maybe if everybody wore a mask for a while, we could stop wearing a mask because the COVID yeah. would be strangled, basically. But everybody's got to do it. It can't be, oh, I do it, but you don't because you don't like them. Fuck you. You know, you're mm -hmm. killing me. You know, you have no respect for me if you're not wearing a mask. And I, I just... I, I just don't understand it. Now we have 120,000 people in one day. In one day. In one day. We yep. had 1,100 people die uh, just a few days ago. In one day. Okay? Isn't that saying something to the American public? I don't want to wear a mask. My constitutional right not to wear a mask. No, it's not. Nothing in the Constitution doesn't, it, it, you know, I mean... We're doing this for the betterment of the American public, yeah. okay, and 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 for all the people here who are older, and uh, in a high risk group, okay, uh, which would be most of you. Anybody guys. you think of? Except well, <laughs> yeah, Brian is about the only one, and Tony are the only two that probably are not in high risk groups, okay. Yeah. Um, but we love you guys, so we don't want anything to happen to you. Exactly. Well, you. Sure. <laughs> and, and you don't want to bring it home to your kids. Oh, exactly. Or my kids give it to me. Jeez. Yeah, well, right. you send them, you know, and they're sending them to school is not the greatest idea in the world because, you know, as we all know, kids are little Petri dishes. Yes. You know. Yeah, they're, they're trying uh, to get you know, them back. I, hmm? I find my, uh, my grandkids yeah. are pretty serious about the whole thing. Really? Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, yeah. Your kid's pretty serious about it? Yeah. Yeah, when we go out, they understand. Yeah. And then they're, they're trying to get them back in January, yeah, the beginning only, of January. The, the only, but our area is pretty good. Yeah. So they, they're they going to take the data. They're following the data. And they said if it's this, this way or... Or yeah. worse than, sorry, this way or better than they'll go back on the fourth. And they look every Tuesday for the data. That's when the yeah. data comes out for Santa Clara County. Now, I know I know why Adrian doesn't like wearing a mask. Because you can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but they're, they're, they're good at it. And they know. And then they, you know, they've gone to work with me. So they they know why, you know, why it's going on and why our work's so important. So it's good. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's just, uh, um, uh, this thing need not have gotten as out of hand as it has. Mm -hmm. and, it, yep. and, and it's because, I got to say this, because the president didn't set, a, set an example. Exactly. You know? He's going around saying, oh, there's no, you know, COVID will be gone right after the election. Well, here we are, 120,000, highest Easter. yet. Huh? Easter. Oh, Maybe Remember the Easter. numbers will go. Yeah. Maybe the numbers will go down a smidge just because there are no yeah. more fucking well, Trump rallies. Well, well no. Maybe his oh, yeah. his idea his <laughs> idea this year where he said he was uh, doing it uh, yeah, right uh, <laughs> that he was doing it that it would uh, would be gone by Easter. Yeah, uh, Easter. Well, yeah. he didn't say which Easter. Which Easter. Yeah. He didn't say which Easter. <laughs> yeah. You know. 
But he set a very bad example. I mean, if, if he wore a mask and said, look, I'm wearing a mask, you should wear a mask too. This is important. This is the way we take care of it. If he had let, if he let Fauci run the whole thing and just said, look, I don't know about this. I don't know how to handle this. But he wasn't willing to admit he didn't know everything. Because he's, what a kind of genius is he? A, uh, a stable genius. Stable genius. Well, wait a minute. In, in, in his case, stable uh, genius means he's good with horses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. He's very healthy. But come we can't on, come on Georgia. Let's see some numbers here. I know. This is torturous. Let's get Take let's get this over with. Let's get it done with. I mean, everybody. On, uh, I don't know how many of you are watching the various networks, but the networks <laughs> I watch, which is CNN, and I watch uh, 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 MSNBC, and I watch NBC and CBS, and so on. They all seem to think that Biden's getting this. It's just yeah. a matter of time. Time, yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> and but let's get it over with. Yeah. Because I want to get to the second part of this show, which is Trump moaning and groaning and refusing to leave. Do you think he's going to go to the inauguration? No. Nope. No. No, 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 no. Nope. Wow. That would be the I, first time in history, wouldn't it? Hey, Alex, at the, inaug at the inauguration, doesn't he have to be there, Trump? No, he no. doesn't have no. to be there. Oh, like a the crossing of the power over. I was hoping. No, but but you go be because done. you're, you know, that's what you do. The right that's, thing to that's do. That's the right thing to do. It's like saying thank you after somebody says does something nice for you. It's that kind of thing. It's just, you know, it's good form. But I'll you know bet you he he won't show up for the inauguration. But nope. we want him there because I want a lot of people there so Biden can go over to him and say, you know what, mine looks like a lot more people than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh, <laughs> I'd, lo I'd love to go to the correspondence dinner if Biden wins next year. Geez, they're going to all rip Trump like crazy. Well, they won't be able to hold it because we'll have COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, we got screwed all the way around by this oh, guy. Man. So, uh, what, 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 what is, if Biden wins, how fast do you think he can actually start affecting change here? Do you think he can do it before the election, before the well, they, inauguration? Well, they had a conference already yeah. on COVID the other day. Yeah. yeah. He's doing he has no power to do anything until no. January 20th. Yeah, but he, he, can, he can start influencing. And he can start talking to the, the uh, people and wearing a mask and saying, oh, this is yeah. what you should do. And, you know, if I were him, uh, I got in office, he wanted to pay, write some uh, executive orders. I think there should be an executive order about mandating that everybody yeah. in America wear a mask. And, and, and for heaven's sakes, let's start by picking a secretary of education who's actually been in a public school. Yes. Yeah. Let's yes, pick yes, a secretary yes. of wow. energy that knows how to plug in a fucking lamp. <laughs> you know, well, yeah. I mean, how about, how about a head of the... Uh, COVID task force that isn't an osteopath. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Trump, uh, imagine the secretary comes into the office, uh, President Francis on the phone. Oh, they want to speak to me? No, they don't want to speak to you. They want to speak to Biden. Do you have his phone number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, Alex, he's going to take losing that power, like you said, bad, I think. Oh, well, he, well the first thing, we're gonna, first thing he's going to do and he's, he's setting that, he, you know, you can tell what he's going to do because he sets everything up ahead of time. It's not, oh, sure. it's not uh -huh. like he keeps it a big secret. His whole yeah. hating of Fox now. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know oh, why yeah. he hates yeah. Fox? Because he's going to start the Trump News Network. When does that start, you think? About the day after he gets right out away. of office. Yeah. Oh, they the bought, the, the Trump family people. bought into OAN. Yeah. Yep. So that will just simply be, uh, he'll probably name it the Trump Network. I bet it has. I bet it has a gold-plated logo. A toilet bowl, huh? Of a toilet bowl where where good news goes down the toilet. Yeah, right, right. But, and it'll go bankrupt. By the way, I, 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 I oh sure, yeah, oh, sure. Because what does he know about running a network? No. Yeah, he doesn't run anything right now. Well, I mean, he didn't know anything about running casinos, did he? 
Yeah, you know, listen, five times there. And to me, <laughs> get running the a general kid- idea that a casino is like a money making machine. <laughs> Yeah. You know, yeah. like, do you get the idea? The only guy who who get the hell out of the way. Yeah. How do you, How lose? Can you lose money at a casino? Yeah. Making the, money? <laughs> the only way you can lose money in a casino is if you're the customer. If you're the customer. <laughs> yes. yeah. Right. You oh, know, I you mean, know. what? The casinos are just uh, money makers. Uh, just churned out yeah. money, you know. Uh, and <laughs> you know it was? Trump thought he was going to make money on the food. And not the fucking gambling. We'll just we'll just pump up the prices for the corned beef sandwich. But everybody yeah. hit, hit a jackpot on the way out. This <laughs> is it hard. Didn't he Why ever that? hear? Didn't he ever yeah, hear that you give the food you... away for free? <laughs> you know, you give it away for ninety nine cents. Yeah. 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 So that you get people in to, to gamble. That's, that's the way Las Vegas used to be. Is it still that way? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Sure. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Most of those places are closed right now, but they have the buffets. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, best buffet I ever had was at the uh, Mirage. Oh, I had, I that had was a yes. great buffet, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yes, 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 yes. Great I mean, you go there, there and you go. go, this is good food. Oh. This isn't yeah. like the kind of stuff you get at a buffet, which is all just like starches and fattening mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, there was shrimp and there was this and that. No. And it was 15 bucks, I think. But they that got you into the Mirage. And then when you were through eating, where did you go? Well, you couldn't get out of that restaurant without going through the casino. There was no exit. <laughs> and by the way, you had to find the exit because... Yeah, you're right. It's hard to find an exit with those. You're right. With the rugs. When my brother used oh, to the rugs it. are meant to disorient you, right? Am I, I right, Robert? On the exit yeah. to the stream one time, I said, how do you get out of here? He says, what are you, stupid? And I couldn't. I was, I was getting confused which way to go. Well, no, the thing is also you don't they have, have you don't have any windows or windows on the doors. Or they clocks. Don't have, they, or clocks. Or they clocks. They don't have clocks. Yeah. They don't have daylight in there so that you have no idea how, what time it is or what mm-hmm. time of day it is, and you get lost in this thing, you know? Oh man, I'm missing that. You know, I could stand a good at Mirage buffet right now. Oh, my, my brother used to take me there once in a while with him. To, uh, I was out there for a couple of. I was out there when Tupac got killed. He took me out there for the weekend. Yeah. We were out there. It was a big boxing match. We left one of the casinos watching football, and all I saw was pandemonium on the streets. I said, "What the hell happened?" Tupac got shot. I said, get the hell out of here. I said, yeah, they had everything blocked off. I was actually afraid because that Friday night we landed, Alex, yeah. it was a lot of like bad elements. I hate to say it, like there was like a lot of fighting going on in the casinos because when the boxing comes in, yeah, it brings, they start the money's flying. This, I don't know one thing. I was out there once for the Golden Boy, the, uh, what's Oxa de la Hoya? Yeah. And we watched the fight. I don't bet on anything. And they would they came out of the fight, they were throwing chairs around because they were yelling fix, De La Hoya didn't throw a punch. I remember that one. I was like, holy shit, they're crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she, voted, <laughs> she voted with me. She voted with me the other night. Oh. Uh, did you vote with Daddy? Yeah. Who did we vote for? The blue or the red? <laughs> Which one? Blue. <laughs> blue. 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 Break them in early. She kept, she kept watching. She watches. Oh, blue's leading. Right? The blue's good. Huh? Is the red? Red, he's bad. Red's bad. Blue's good. What's she, <laughs> what's she eating? What is that? Chum chum. Chum chum. Huh? Yeah, it's like this fuzzy thing, and then it has the stuff inside. With by the, the way, by the way, you are buying a baseball bat, aren't you, for all the guys that come to try and date her when she gets older? <laughs> <Gun>. <laughs> Check my web, check my Facebook page. She has all the dancing on there from tonight. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, uh, that's it. Uh, well, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some kind of idea who pre- who the president is. Uh, Saturday. You say Saturday? Okay. I'm, I'm saying tomorrow midday. Okay? That's just my hopeful thing. Anyway, Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, uh, Robert. Thank you, Brian and Adrian. Uh, and thank you, Tony, and thank you, Kevin. Great having you all here. If you all give a big wave goodbye, I'll wave goodbye at you. Aren't you going to wave? Yeah, there she goes. All right. And that's our citizen panel for tonight. 
thank them all for uh, joining us and really doing a great, uh, a great job tonight. Well, we will see tomorrow. There should be, uh, there should be some, maybe some kind of solution to all of this. In the meantime, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He's being going to take calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you tomorrow night, 1030. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. Good night, everybody.